Well, today, the European Space Agency's Euclid space mission reveals its first full color images of the cosmos. That's right. Never before has a telescope been able to create such razor sharp astronomical images across such a large patch of the sky and, and looking so far into the distant universe. And KKL News meteorologist Marina Jericho is here. She's so excited about this because she has studied climate science. Thank you for being here with us, Marina. Yes. What sets the uh, Euclid telescope apart from all the others? Well, I worked with the European Space Agency on the Sentinel-6 team, and back then, years ago, they were so excited about Euclid, and NASA just launched the James Webb Space Telescope, yeah. uh -huh. and in conjunction, we're going to be able to learn so much about the cosmos. Here's a fantastic animation of what Euclid looks like, and like you said, Pat, the visible and infrared images are going to be so razor-sharp clear, and it's going to be, over its next six-year mission, it's going to be the largest cosmic 3D map that has ever been made. We like to call it the Universe Detective. That's its nickname <laughs> because it's basically the Sherlock Holmes of dark matter. And so it is going to be looking at how all of this dark matter and dark energy made our universe look the way that it does today. So, and you said the one thing that does set it apart is those large swaths. So they're, they're much larger. So James Webb is going mm -hmm. to be looking further and Euclid's going to be looking tighter and mm. wider. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to give us this complete picture that's going to be amazing. And what does Euclid want to see or study? So it wants to study this dark matter. It wants mm -hmm. to study this dark energy that we've never been able to see before. And uh, ladies, is your spice cabinet at home great? Is it like all organized Mine is. and oh. everything? That's yes, amazing. Oh, wow. wow. That is I do talent. have an organized spice. Not at all. Wow. You're the only person cabinet. I know. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Mine, so, not at all. <laughs> so dark matter basically organizes the cosmos in our universe. Okay. And so it organizes everything. And we're going to learn so much more about this mystery of the dark energy and, and the dark matter that's out there. And so that's what Euclid's main focus is mm. on. But the pictures, these are so amazing. And you yeah. can can head to isa.com and download these amazing pictures that hopefully will be coming around again. So this is the Perseus cluster of galaxies right there. That's what we're looking at. That's right what now. we're looking at right mm -hmm. now. A hundred thousand galaxies wow. in this one picture and it is just is revealing so much about how things are coming together how things are organized this is my favorite which is the horse head nebula this and I've cool. always loved it. Oh, look at yeah. Yes because it is a nursery of baby mm -hmm. stars mm -hmm. and I don't it's just nostalgic for me, uh, but I've always <laughs> loved that. And it's just, you learn so much about where stars are born into how they evolve. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us know from our Milky Way galaxy, it's a spiral galaxy, but most of the galaxies out there are globular clusters or they are unorganized or in different dwarfs. And you learn so much more about those and how everything has its place in our universe. And we're just a little tiny speck of it. But you know what? That's I what it reminds love you. Mm -hmm. how you break it down. What we love your <laughs> enthusiasm and you know we can understand everything that you say which thank is you. necessary when yeah. you talk about science and you're not a scientist so Marina mm -hmm. thank you so much thank you thank Look you forward so to more, much. Right? hopefully yes. I can uh, organize my spice cabinet then. yes well, just, we'll have the <laughs> things in place come and do that. <laughs> really that's what I have though. to check on if I have any dark matter in my spice cabinet <laughs> <There we go. laughs>